Now at 5.30, a Wawa employee gets attacked and fights back. That's what police say happened at this Mount Airy Wawa convenience store last night. Police say the employee stabbed the customer in self-defense. Jasmine Payu is in Mount Airy talking to residents about what happened. Jasmine? Yuki, those residents call this a neighborhood Wawa. They say the people who work or live in this area come here often, and they're shocked at what happened. On most days, this is your average Wawa, where in-store curbside or delivery options always sound good. This is between my house and um, my work, so I come here every day get my coffee. But Thursday night around 10:30, a brazen act of violence turned this Wawa location on Germantown Avenue in Mount Airy into a crime scene. Police say that's when a 42-year-old man physically punched and choked an employee because of his wait time. He then attempted to go around the counter wielding a knife. It's not normal to jump over a counter and stab somebody. According to officials, the employee, who remains unidentified, was packing boxes at the time when he pulled out a pocket knife and stabbed the customer. In their report, officers say he did this to defend himself. That's crazy, especially when you come into work to, you know, Work your normal shift, and then you got to fight somebody off. Like that's that's insane. I think there's a lot of trauma among everybody, and you see some of that coming out. You know, the violence, everything that's happening. Dana Grace is a Germantown resident who works in mental health. She says the customer's actions could possibly have something to do with the country's current state of affairs. That's what I make of it: is that people are just so, in such a bad place. But others tell Eyewitness News this is just another sign of growing violence in the city. It's every day, no matter where you go, you're constantly looking over your shoulder anymore. It's just, uh, you know, it's not a really safe place to live anymore. I don't think. That customer is now in critical condition. We also reached out to Wawa, who says they can't comment on ongoing investigations. Live in Mount Airy, Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.